Haha, <laughs> the murder car. Arguably one of the greatest inventions of all time. People love to buy them, drive them, and race them. God, shut out! And Minecraft? Well, it's one of the greatest games of all time. It defined the childhoods of so many, including myself. But you know what people aren't asking enough around here? Can you run Minecraft on a car? More specifically, can you run Minecraft on a car's entertainment system? Well, I expect to find out. Because over the last year or so, I've committed my life's work to trying to run Minecraft on every object I lay my eyes on. So let's go down the rabbit hole together to find out if you can run Minecraft on a car. Beep, beep. Now cars have come a long way since the Ford Model T. And at some point over the last few decades, cars and computers have been smashed together to become one. Take Teslas for example. I can hardly tell you where the car ends and the computer starts, which should make it the perfect car for running Minecraft. Except it's not that simple. See, last year I flew from my small town of Brisbane, Australia to Nashville, Tennessee. And while I was there, I convinced my friends Jess and Gabe to let me tinker away on their Tesla to see if I could get it to run Minecraft. But it didn't take long to learn that Tesla, like all car manufacturers, are pretty strict with their car's computers. And the Tesla's operating system and hardware was pretty dang locked down. So instead of running Minecraft on the Tesla itself, I went for the second best option, cloud gaming. And surprisingly, it worked well. The heck? Fortnite, what? Wait, you're straight up playing Fortnite on a Tesla? <laughs> but Minecraft was nowhere to be seen on any cloud platforms. So my last attempt was to use the Tesla's display to remote desktop into my MacBook. Now it worked. Kind of. The lag made it completely unplayable, and it crashed so often that I just gave up, ultimately failing the challenge. However, my dream to play Minecraft on a car never died, and I think I may have found a way to make that dream come true. But unfortunately, I no longer have access to a Tesla. So instead, I'm attempting to run Minecraft on my wife's Havel Jolion, or as I like to call it, the mum car. Because I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Carwell. <laughs> I've just always wanted to say that. Are we starting a car channel right now? Woo! Now this is Harry the Havel. We've had him for a little bit now. He is a good car. He's a solid car. He's not the coolest car, but he's very practical. As you can see, he has four wheels, two on this side and two on the other. And he sports a boot that you can throw anything into, like we do. We literally just throw everything in there. We should have definitely cleaned it before we did this, hey? <laughs> Old Harry the Havel here may not be a Tesla, but he does still have a lot of technology packed inside. Not enough technology for full self-driving or for a full Christmas light display, but he does have one feature that could make it possible to run Minecraft. Now, it's definitely not possible to be able to install Minecraft on the car itself. Cars like these run really random computer systems. I don't know what they're running, but they do not run a platform that you can install Minecraft on. But the good news is we might not have to install Minecraft on the car itself to play Minecraft on this screen. See, most cars, including Harry here, come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, if that's how you swing. CarPlay is super interesting because it's kind of like an extended display for your iPhone. Your iPhone is streaming video and audio to the car's display. And when you interact with the display, it's sending that information back to your iPhone. And obviously for safety reasons, they don't want people playing video games. <laughs> while driving. But this all got me thinking, could you use CarPlay technology to stream a device running Minecraft to the display? Well, I'm not gonna lie, I went down a pretty big rabbit hole to try and find out. <laughs> There are a few companies out there making a product that is essentially Android in a box. It's not just Android Auto, it's fully like an Android phone connected to your car. Using CarPlay, which is wild. But holy dooly, they are expensive. <laughs> and I couldn't confirm or deny if gaming on them actually worked. If they had enough power to game. I don't know man, maybe streaming with CarPlay is just overcomplicated. Is running Minecraft on a car just too silly? <laughs> Honestly, I was about to give up on this idea altogether when a random product caught my eye. This company, Carlink Kit, Car, Carlink Kit, Carlink, Carlink Kit, makes a bunch of these Android in a box systems. But to my surprise, they also make this adapter, which is a HDMI to CarPlay dongle. And according to their site, you just simply plug in a HDMI device into the USB CarPlay slot in your car. Surely it's not that simple. So I did what any man trying to play Minecraft on his car would do. And uh, yeah, I bought it on AliExpress. I think I found our solution. Let's have a look at this thing. Ooh, okay. What do you think, Chelsea? Do you think this will just work? Nothing ever just works. People roasted me that the screen on the Tesla was so dirty. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. I just gotta plug it in down here. Oh. oh. What? That's pretty cool. All right, well, that's a good, that's a good sign. So here I have a HDMI cable. Now, of course, we're gonna need something to actually run Minecraft. I'm going to overcook it 
and use my MacBook. If this just works, I'll be so impressed. Oh my god, it looks good. Hey, the latency is really solid. <laughs> what the crap? Okay, so it's literally just stretching a 1920 by 1080 display, I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's exactly what it's doing. Now, I did attempt to try and fix how stretched the image was by changing the output resolution of my MacBook, but nothing really looked quite right. I also tried changing the settings of the adapter because according to the photos on their site, you can actually change the ratio of the video output. But for whatever reason, the settings of my adapter didn't have that option. But even with it stretched like this, I still couldn't get over how well this worked straight out of the box. There's something so satisfying about playing Cyberpunk on your car's display. Just like that one Tesla video. Bro, what the freak? <laughs> That's so cool. Honestly, the stretch doesn't even look that bad. Ridiculous, dude. So ridiculous. But I couldn't help but wonder, what would playing Minecraft on a car really be like? And would it be good enough to make up for my failed Tesla attempt? Okay, let's start Minecraft. <laughs> That's so sick. It looks good. It does look good, hey. I am freaking out right now that that just works. Wait, how are you going to play it without your lap? Oh. That's a great question, Chelsea. <laughs> I came prepared. My biggest concern is going to be the latency because that was the biggest problem with the Tesla version. You ready? We're going in. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Look at this, dude. Beautiful. What? Look at that. That is so crazy. It looks so good. I just, I cannot get over how good it looks. Oh my gosh, I could so just sit here and play Minecraft <laughs> all day. Are you kidding me with this view? This would be so much fun. Look how nice it is out there. The resolution of the screen is like surprisingly good. Hey, gosh, I wish it was touch screen. That would have just, I would have been done. I would have been like game over. What's up, buddy? Look how cute he is. This is so great. There is the tiniest bit of latency, which kind of makes it hard, you know, like you move and then it, but generally so playable. I'm so stoked. Now, of course, if you wanted to play Minecraft on the go and don't have a computer with you, you could simply plug in your iPhone or Android with an adapter and play games like Minecraft that way. The downside is the aspect ratio in my car specifically is all over the shop. It's so not good. <laughs> not only are things still stretched out, but there's letterbox bars, black bars on top and the bottom. I can't believe this little adapter makes this even possible. So ridiculous, man. So crazy. And look, it might be a while before we see Minecraft actually running on a car, but it is pretty sick that this little adapter gets us almost all the way there. Doesn't that just look so great? Frick me, dude. This is so good. I can't get over how good that looks and how well it plays. How do you think it goes? Surprisingly good. I'm so, I'm so stoked. How do the trees stay up still? Now that, that is a good question. <laughs> 